patience. We're really excited to be in the Winnie tonight. It's awesome. Uh, if you haven't been to a live nude show before, we have a little tradition. Uh, we have a spoon bear. They're going to be the judge for this epic improv battle that you're going to see out here tonight. Uh, so I need a couple of volunteers from the L. of it if I were you. I am the Democratic whip of you big blue House of Representatives of these United States. You see, it's a whip's job to make sure that all these congressmen stay in line. I've got to get them to vote correctly, you see, especially in these days when we've got idiot congressmen and a bumbling president, please. <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> congressmen? <laughs> no. It's you! <laughs> you smell like fresh pajamas. <laughs> the truth is, he smells like horseshit. I was <laughs> I've got to get him to keep his word today. And there is nothing that I hate more than a man who cannot keep his word. <laughs> Congressman President Ojo and Congressman Tutter, Pip, and Pop are here to see you. Oh, fantastic! Mayor, <laughs> 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 where are we on passing the Community Garden Initiative? Well, President Ojo, you arrived with the three members of Congress who have so far refused to vote in line with the Democratic Party for this bill. We're just not sure if the community garden is a good idea. Sounds like a lot of work. Let's talk about community gardens. Maybe if we teach Tutter, Pip, and Pop all the great things about gardening, they'll vote yes. <laughs> 
Tomatoes? Yeah! Do you like spending time with friends outdoors, getting exercise, learning new skills? Yeah! yeah. And cheese! Sounds like you want to be surprised a bit, and you didn't even know it! Wow, this garden sure sounds like fun! It will be, especially for me, but I don't plan on talking about that. It was nice to meet with you, Congressman. President, it's getting pretty late. Thanks for saving the day, Bear! <laughs> goodbye, Bear! Now it's time to say goodnight to my loving wife. <laughs> I've convinced the congressman to vote for the Community Garden Initiative. Those fumbling idiots. That's wonderful! It's so fun watching from up in the sky while we hatch our plan for your rise to power. That's right. As <laughs> overseer of the community garden, it'll be me who allocates rations to all the animals. Control the food, control the masses. Control the <laughs> control the masses, and you're one step closer to controlling the big blue House of Representatives. <laughs> and soon, the whole country. That's right, Luna. Let's celebrate our little victory by singing goodbye to the powers currently in place in this country. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Cause now it's time to go. <laughs> I say now that's okay. But we'll be ruling pretty soon, I know. <laughs> Aw. Well, I'm pretty tired now, Luna. I think it's time for the
start playing the game in the middle of it. It's, yeah. it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's up. Yeah. All right. Uh, I need a suggestion from the audience. Something that makes you feel happy. Cool it. Please have a sip from your Kool-Aid cauldron. <laughs> Drink it straight out of the spoon. I want to drink it out. Of, uh, you know, I, 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 I do want to drink it out of the spoon. I think uh, that's absolutely what I want. <laughs> I, I want to take it. I want to hoard it in my room in my own little Kool-Aid cupboard. <laughs> Fester for a little while. That's what I really. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You know, son. This is very heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you want such a little pansy girl, this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> I ever really wanted the Kool-Aid cauldron. I just wanted to... I did want to... <laughs> you know what? I, want, I just want to make you happy. That's all I want. If this is what makes you happy, then that's what I want to do, Mom. Oscar winning moment, Becca! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hey, 
I'm having a pretty tough day at home. Yeah? Tell me about it. Yeah, my dad dumped his head in the cauldron of Kool-Aid and kicked me out of the house. Well, I mean, you have the whole Fanta thing going on. So. Don't you fucking talk about my Fanta shit. You have a giant You know what? I, I need to go home. I need to go home. This is stupid. Uh, can you help boost me? I'm trying to open up the can of Fanta. <laughs> It's like the title of the game. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna leave these across the stage. I'm gonna read them to you. Uh, at any point during their scene, they're gonna pick up one of these stage directions, and they're gonna have to do it and do it in the scene. It's gonna be funny. Uh, so here is the first one. Uh, you are now uncontrollably attracted to your scene partner. Kiss them. <laughs> <laughs> Dig a hole like a badger bowl. <laughs> Twerk! <laughs> and uh, fart and pretend to ignore it. <laughs> Alright, I need a suggestion from the audience. Something, something you feel when you go home for Thanksgiving.
<laughs> I think so. I mean, we could we could put our heads together and come up with something. <laughs> control and I can do stuff to them. Uh, so let's get to uh, the name of a movie that has never been made nor seen. Thank <laughs> you. 
Felt like I had to do it. I don't want to make you dinner. I'm sorry about the second fire. Okay. Yeah, we made up. We had some, and then. And I think we should split the heck up. <laughs> I'm already seeing someone else. <laughs> This is for Zach, Becca, and Sarah. Uh, yep. Sarah, you're back. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm in. Get out of here! Uh, these two are going to do a scene uh, that includes Sarah, but Sarah's not going to be here. Uh, then we'll bring Sarah back into the room, and she's going to have to figure out what the heck's going on and be in the scene while they repeat the scene that they just hit. Uh, so I need a suggestion from the audience. Uh, any old suggestion will do.
and Nick. Uh, this is a game. This is a game called Face Mold. Uh, this is how this is gonna work. Uh, they're gonna make faces until I freeze their face, uh, and that is gonna be the neutral face for their character. <laughs> patient for these guys. Dented. Yeah, so, 
So I'm taking out the bones, am I right? Oh, favorite part. <laughs> Hashtag gross. <laughs> And then by the end, they're going to converge. So we're going to get two different suggestions. Let's get a suggestion for Town and Mall. Haircut. Actually, this is pretty good. <laughs> you, you wrote this in kindergarten. Wait, I made a bill of rights because that's the proper thing to do. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, oh. It has been so long since I have seen my American love <laughs> I'm here for you anytime. Come visit the States anytime you want and Teach me all about your country. About <laughs> I'm more. <laughs> so, these are the things that I know best. Because I am a lover of art. <laughs> Love it right now. And I can show you the ways of my art. <laughs> and I am but a simple minister. <laughs> That's right. You are here to you are here to see hear from Stephanie Collins herself. She will be running for president of the world. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. This is my decoration of kindergarten appendix. I want to thank my daddy. Stop. And also my many contributors to my education, like my French teacher. <laughs> Good one, Good one. Mr. Frisk. <laughs> yeah. It has been so 
So it's a long and beautiful relationship. <laughs> <laughs> this Starbucks has had so many memories. <laughs> One guy who is looking for our country to unite. And that's my country. <laughs> president of the world. And she's so gosh darn cute. Who wouldn't want to vote for her? Am I right? <laughs> oh, it's my French teacher. Oh, hey, Mr. <laughs> Please save my dying love <laughs> Uh, I know we haven't talked about this much, Winnie, but this would be a great opportunity to win some votes, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to go to medical school so I can do it. <laughs> yes, this beautiful zone. <laughs> I don't think that's the problem. You have a, an appendix bursted. <laughs> You're so wise. You should call 911 and go to the hospital. <laughs> Players play a game of American Playhouse. Come on up here. Uh, these four improvisers are going to be simultaneously watching and performing a play for you. They'll be switching back and forth from the stage to the audience. So what I need from you is a suggestion of a play that has never been produced. is the name of your play. Uh, let's start in the audience after a round of applause. Is that where we're sitting? Yes, madame. <laughs> it's not very close to the stage. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Hi. I'm Amanda. <laughs> with my elderly wife. <laughs> Let's see what's happening on stage. <laughs> it was a typical evening in my house. I had cooked dinner. <laughs> family was sitting and eating the dinner which I had cooked. <laughs> and then, outside, the leaves rustled. <laughs> which was strange, because in this neighborhood, leaves did not usually rustle. <laughs> I felt something was off. <laughs> what the hell, Mom? Stop talking to yourself. Let's go. <laughs> You haven't answered me, I said you 
you know what that means. <laughs> Upward inflection at the end of my sentence implies that it's a question. That's Charlie, but don't you feel that something is off? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
should just move into the lake and live with him and you guys can be happy together and I'll just be sad. <laughs> monsters again. The monster will be fine on his own. <laughs> I hope. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Fred. Yay! That's all for the game this morning of the evening here. Uh, but we obviously need to pick a winner of this improv battle. Can we get our spoon bear back up here? Uh, so this is our applause meter As you know, the more you applaud, the more it goes up. Come on up here. You have to hold this thing. It's, it's, a, it's a big, you know. <laughs> uh, so it's an applause meter The more you clap, the more it goes up there. So let, let's check it out. Let me just
Remember when we used to be humans? That, that was dumb. But now, that was so now, now we are omniscient. <laughs> Chris Pratt.